Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a thumbnail in PixArt. So PixArt is a very simple and easy app. So I'm going to show you how to do just that. Let's get into this video. Okay, so here we have the app. So if you don't have the app, go installed in the App Store. It is for free. There are paid versions as well. So if you want Pixar Gold, you will have to pay for that. But you can use the free version as well. So let's go into the app. So here you can see here is the home screen. And if you go down here, here you can see you can discover. Here are challenges and here is your profile. So I want to create a project. So what you're going to do is you're going to press on this plus button down there. So I want it to be a plain background. So here I have these backgrounds that I want to use. So I'm just going to click on that and there you can see the background. So if your image is not the size of a thumbnail, what you do is you press on tools, go to crop. And here you can crop your image so if you scroll here you will see YouTube and that will give it you the exact size for a YouTube thumbnail so you don't have to worry about that then you just say apply so now what I want to do is I want to add another image to my image so if I scroll down here here we'll see add photo so here I just added this image so we're just gonna make it this size for instance i want to make a tutorial on canva so i'm just going to use that and put that there then you can blend crop cut out effects there is a lot of things you can do with this image you can adjust you can add a shadow you can add a border all that kind of stuff so i'm just going to say apply so now I want to add another image. So I'm gonna just going to say add photo. And I want to add this phone image. Say add. Then I'm going to just resize it. And place it over my other image. So that will look something like this. Then I'm going to say apply. So now what you're going to do is you're going to add text. So down here you say text. And let's say Canva, press the correction mark. And if you click on this arrow on the bottom, here you can see all the text. So there are not a lot of text, but there is options for you as well. And if you want to add other text, you can create an image at, on another app. If you have more fonts on that app and just save it as transparent and as image, and then you can add it as an image to your project. So let's choose this font to make it look close to Canva. So let's just add it over there. And then on the bottom, you can change the color. I want it white and you can change, you can add a stroke. You can change the opacity, you can blend it and you can add a shadow. So I always like to add a shadow to my text. It just makes it stand out more. Then you say apply. So what we're going to do next is add another text and then we're going to say tutorial. Place the correction mark and we're going to change the text of this one as well. So let's add this text. I'm going to make it a bit smaller and put it over there. Then we're going to say apply. So here are other options for you as well. You can add brushes. Over there you can see, you can add a border to your image, you can add a mask, you can draw. Here you can see here are a bunch of options for you. You can add a lens flare and you can add a frame and you can add call out. So call out is just speech bubbles, let's say subscribe. And then here are the different options for you to choose from. So you can add stickers. So if you click on sticker, here are some options for you. Let's say paint stroke. 
Let's add this one. I had to put this underneath the other text, but let's just leave it like that. Say apply, and then we're gonna add the text over that again. Let's see, text. Where is that? There it is. Change the color. Add a shadow. Like that. Then I say apply. And I want to add another sticker to my image just to add a little extra something. Let's say arrow. Let's add this one. So here we can flip it and then we can add it. Let's just say like that and say apply. So this is how my thumbnail is turned out to look. So you can just really play around with this app and have fun with it. So what you do next is you say next and then you say save and download photo and then it will save it to your photos. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a big thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment down below. Please subscribe to our channel. That really help us so much. And remember to click the bell notification button to get any notifications when we upload a new video. Hope you guys have a lucky day. Bye.